It's a beautiful evening right here in the coast city, Obodo, Ifeneme. Of course, we're broadcasting live on DSTV254, Go TV17, and on our socials, it's Akia TV Official. A very warm welcome to you, this very, very special edition of Wonka. For a lot of you who might be watching Unka for the very first time, Unka is the program where we get to talk to people who practice art in their various, various forms. Be it through music, movies, food, business, philanthropy, you know, any form of art that there is, you know, we get people who have, you know, excelled in their careers to an extent, people who are on this journey, people are who has to figuring it out and they get to share their journeys with us you know they get to be vulnerable with us we get to laugh they get to talk about their industry things they like things they want to change you know we talk about the southeast you know the way the industry is shaped in the southeast things that we could do better so it's always a very very fun conversation and of course we also get to play some games you know we get to do some bad booths <laughs> different 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 things happen on Nka. my name is Pepe Obinyeluba and when we come back from this break you get to meet my very special guest you welcome back to Nka on Akia TV of course we are broadcasting live DSTV to fight for and <laughs> go TV 17. It's such a tongue twister sometimes, and of course, on socials, it's Apia TV official. I said my name is Favor Ogunia Luba, and I said I'm going to introduce my very special guest. This is a, I really love it when women are on set because you know, there's this whole women supporting women energy that we get, and this one is a very special one because she's a model, and so it's pageantry, it's a lot different from music or you know, other things that we're used to. So I have with me the very, very beautiful and the Miss Culture and Tourism Enugu State Chima Prudential Chisum CPC. <laughs> Inside eye. <laughs> you were not expecting that. No, I wasn't. <laughs> How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. They call you CPC in school. Mm, that was a secondary school, though. See, I, I then, you know, there was this subject I think like CCP, Catering and Curve. So instead of using that CPC, they'll use CCP. <laughs> Kitchen and craft, <laughs> Kitchen and craft process. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. So where are you from? Um, I'm from Abia State. Abia State. Hmm, okay, where in Abia? Uh, Chicken. Uh, Chicken. So you part the state that is down. Mm -hmm. Now, not the odds now. <laughs> is it that it's raining? Yeah. I remember when, you know, my state is raining, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. How do you feel about, you know, the things that your governor is doing or Alex Oti is doing in your state. I'm very happy with it, even though I've not seen it, you know, yeah, it's not been there. but from the comments I've been getting and all, oh, it's been a great job there. Oh. So when are you going there and you want to do a marriage? <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> My fine husband. Don't worry, husband will find you. Let me use what people use. Your husband will find you very soon. That kind of thing. <laughs> so it's not saying amen. Say that kind of thing. I'm not ready to marry. I'm not ready to marry. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Lagos. In Lagos, oh, okay. So, what brought you to Enugu? School. School. What was school? Um, Federal University of Allied Health Sciences. Made was formerly Federal College of Dental Technology and Therapy. Let me not say the one I knew. Ah, so I don't know the name of, of this Allied Health. Eh, no. Allied. Allied Health Sciences. Sorry, it's the Allied. Sorry. A double L I E D. What the? Why? I don't know if you ask me. It's so, like, so now it's Federal University of Allied Health Technology. Allied Health Sciences. What is the name of this school? <laughs> what happened to What happened to it just being called dental in keys? Because, ah. so wait, this school is dental, Abby. Because that's why everybody knows dental, dental, yes. dental. So, they've changed dental now to Allied Health Sciences. Yeah. They changed the name. Wow. So, you are a. What did you study? Are you done with school? Dental Technology. Are you done with school? No, I'm not. Oh, okay, so you are learning to commodities. it. <laughs> oh, part are you? Are you? Because I know that one of the reasons why I really love specialized schools, like school of nursing, um, school of dental. I don't know what they are calling allied health. Is it that they're trying to include other health sciences into yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, is that what they're trying to do? Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. But one of the reasons why I really like specialized schools is you know, or schools that offer like specialized courses is 
you know you get to really like do a lot more compared to just oh you're learning nursing and then they teach you different things because i always hear people that say people that go to school of nursing they get more ex they get they get more hands-on experience yeah mm-hmm. you know and i think it's also the same thing with people that go to school of um dental because you guys get more hands-on experience before you study in dentistry yeah so would you still want to go to you need to study dentistry or you are this one way you don't do no i'm not studying dentistry basically after this one i want to specialize in law in law i know it's a completely different career path from dentistry but it's just something i want to do you get my do so now wait first Let, let's just let's let's clarify let's clarify things a bit so you're currently studying what exactly dental technology dental technology so what do dental like just layman what do dental technologists do okay are they dentists no they okay. are dentists but they make processes dental processes like all these braces oh you know. okay okay so like they are the engineers in dentistry yeah more or less oh that makes sense so now you're studying to be an engineer in dentistry <laughs> something like that then you want to now go and study law mm-hmm. after this mm-hmm. when, when you when will you be done with um this current degree <sighs> Probably next year, if you continue, you know, and you pay it away. Because basically, we hardly have a good day. I know, mm-hmm. day is just like two weeks, nothing more. So, if you continue at this period, by the end of next year, it should be done. Okay. How many, how many years course is this? Is a five year course? Five years. <sighs> Don't mind me. I started a four year course and it took me six years because of us to. You know, crazy than I have not. This April is just making it a year there. Oh, and I'll be done with my hundred of this April. So that's what I was, that's what I said with the pace we're going. Going through. because it's like, like it's, the whole thing is going really fast. Yes. But now this is spending five years of your life, and then you want to go and study law. Mm-hmm. Why? What's what is it about law? Because this makes you a science student more or less. So what is it about law? Law is basically intriguing. Like you know. There is this want of, you know, wanting to know about people and like, okay, if someone says, I didn't do this, do you have the first time there? You know you did it, but don't worry. It's between both of us. Okay, so, so like, you think you want to go to school because you want to know something about people? Not that, but I guess you can't love. watch it on YouTube. I find love very interesting. You can't study this law on YouTube. No. I don't mind. I want to persuade you to know because I have friends that, I have friends that, that studied law. I have friends that are in law school and no challenge. Um, studying law does not mean you should go to like all the Nigerian schools. You can't spend how many years of your life there. Mm. There's, there are schools outside that do advanced law. And advanced law, you can do advanced law for two years. But basically, the thing with advanced law is that normal students, it's just like part time students in Nigeria. Say normal students go to school like twice a week, but mm. you, you are there like every hour, even on Sundays. Okay. So you yeah, are just covering up. The other years that you're supposed to be there. Oh, okay. Wow. It's how we've just had like it's like I said, talking to each other. <laughs> I we just had this different conversation. So you go up let's just bring it back a bit. So you go up in Lagos yes. and then um school in Dutch to Inugu. Yes. How's your experience in Inugu being so far? Because <sighs> I remember you saying that you just got into school like last year. So that means you've not been in Inugu for a while. Mm-hmm. Ah, coming to Inugu. Inugu is basically a place where everybody knows everybody. Mm. You see someone, I'll be like, oh, you will be on your phone. And the next person sitting beside you, like, oh, you know this person? I also know this person too. So, Enugu is just like everybody's backyard. Wow. That kind of thing. So, if you, if you cast in Enugu, you cast it. Yes, sir. Actually, Enugu is actually small. I think it's small. You still know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. I genuinely agree with you. So, now let's bring it back to you been did you do any bit of modeling because you're currently the miss culture and tourism for in states there did you do any bit of modeling before yeah i did but it was just mostly face modeling and um just um designs but pageants my first pageant was when i came to school in Inigo. so i ran for my school pageants then from there then i ran for this so this is your second pattern. Yeah. Wow. What What would you say is your advantage? 
because this is your second pageant and you're on Miss Culture and Tourism in Ibu State, so that's a big, that's a really big deal. My advantage is just like, okay, you know that I've done this before. Going on to another pageant to like, this something you've done. So basically, you don't need anybody to tell you, um, this is how to say A, this is how to say B. Mm. You just find your way through it. Do you have like a modeling coach? Do you do any of those things? Or you just inside your body, so it's a natural stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for my first project, that was in school. The first person that coached me was Tega. Mm. Tega of Africa. Then for this Miss Culture and Tourism, the person that coached me was Charles. Shout out to Tega of Africa and Charles. Yeah. So you had coaches. You, it wasn't something that you did alone. Yeah. Okay. Um. I, I, I know friends that have modeled before or like are into pageants and all of that. I know that it can be very expensive getting costumes and, you know, I know that, I think pageants, because I've, I've, um, I've hosted some of one of the faculty dinners and faculty pageants and all of that. I remember, I know like there's a part where they, there's a part of it that asks for creativity. Mm-hmm. So, and that creativity one can be really, really, it can cost a lot. And I know someone who rents like, dinner gowns or all these like um i know the last one is like you having to wear like a very fine gown i'm not mistaken mm-hmm. and i've also like been in a pageant before like nyse and i won no no <laughs> don't know it's okay don't need to shout <laughs> so i know how it can be you know obviously when i was in nyse it was my um honestly faculty but i thought some people that paid for it because they forced me because so i was like no i'm not doing this but um so i know that it, it could cost a lot it's really really costly so how how are you able? Because obviously you're just getting into school, and I don't know the relationship with your parents or how you can go that that you are wanting to do pageant. Like is that what I sent you to go and do? So how are you able to navigate like those like for the financial part of modeling? Mm, the finances my parents provide, so like they are solidly wow. behind me. So my one is just to go there, do what I can, showcase my talent and all. For the aspect of finances, we cover it. Then, for my designs, I have a stylist. When I got to Enugu, I made this really cool stylist. For so using UNM, precious, fashion the icon. Like, okay. that is Instagram handle. So, he has been my stylist right from time. And he was my stylist for this, this culture and tourism. And he's still going to be my stylist for Tourism Nigeria, which is in June. Thank you for Tourism Nigeria. Before we, before we even get there. Your parents, they sponsor your modeling? Yeah. Oh, so how, was, how do you shape your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> because I, why I say this? Because I know a lot of people that I remember when I was still in school, a lot of girls wanted to um, go, um, contest or, you know, do all this whole modeling thing. And then they'd be like, everybody, everybody would come and start raising money and be like, ah, this one is really costing. And things were even cheaper then. Things were even cheaper then. Then if you get like your costume for like 5K and whatnot, I know that they obviously they, they cost more than that right now, right? Costume like less costume stuff on twenty k. Because then it was like five k, and obviously five k was still a lot. So like, ah, I cannot rent this costume for five k, seven k. You know, the high end costumes they would be like ten, fifteen k. So mm-hmm. it was really expensive. And then I know a lot of girls that were like having to do different things. Okay, I need money. I want to raise money? Use your pocket money because you can't ask your parents for that. But your parents are the ones that sponsor your whole costume. This thing, yeah. I want to know, is it that they they see it as a career or they see it as your hobby or they see it as, oh, let's invest in this thing. We trust that Chisom is going to win and when she wins, she's going to pay back. Because what exactly is the agreement? They just want to see you happy or what? Yeah, basically, if you want to do something, my parents have this mentality of, if you want to do something, no problem, we'll support you. But if it turns out well for you, ah, it's still in your pocket. If it turns out bad, you learn your lesson and be like, mm. okay, no problem. The, the only thing they'll do is to support you because we're only girls. So, ah, if you have a girl child now, you're like, I don't want this girl to go out there and start looking for someone to support her at all. So, I'll do my job as the parents to help her. And if it turns out well for her, no problem. She'll be happy with it. Wow. So, you don't have a brother? No, I don't. You just How many sisters do you have? I have three sisters. Oh, that's really, how, how, how's that like growing up? Ah, very annoying. <laughs> very annoying. It is annoying because, ah, you know, my mom's seen this stuff. Yeah. 
but like not having a, a boy around did you like feel it in a different way like oh i wish i had a brother but like you don't even care for siblings like not if you don't care but like i beg this one's i have like a handful already <laughs> the only way you be like i wish i had a brother is when you like ah my brother sent me money you're like ah i wish i had a brother that says that no i don't wish i had a brother are you the oldest child i'm not no no so your sister doesn't send you money no oh no worry very soon or you really want to send their money. Mm. It's, not, it's, yeah. not a big deal. it's not it's not a big deal. <laughs> I have four brothers and I would have said oh, let me give you but oh. yeah, you have brothers are annoying. Boys are annoying. It's okay, let's not let's not go there. Let's not go to gender wars. <laughs> when I used to do gender wars in Akka to the official but I love all genders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um so you you talked about um, the financial part of modeling mm-hmm. now let's let's go to the mental part of it people have stage fright i remember when i did modeling no i not model pardon in fact what i did was was group work because like how i explain it me having to represent my platoon it was like okay somebody has to represent this platoon and i'll go ahead and do it so i remember how scared i was and mind you i was already working I was already working, I was, I was already a presenter, so obviously I was like, it's like, oh, you're already used to the cameras, now you should not be having, like, you should not be um, afraid or have stage fright, but I was scared. And I would tell myself, ah, this is not you, are you, you not, are you not already on camera, don't you already? And like, this, here we don't have like a live audience sometimes, but like, this is like, I was in play to stage with at least, with at least 1,000 people watching. That's 1,000 people watching, so I'm like, it was very, very scary. Like walking up, people. First of all, if you're not fine, you were, uh, you, you like the way people because the Nigerian audience are very, very, very. They can just be anything that's in their mind or their heart. They just say it. Just walk, uh, biggie, biggie. Uh, like, but, like the, all those kind of comments. You would just, but if you, you think you know how to walk, you forget how to walk. You forget how to breathe. You, you forget how to smile. And then you have to put up this appearance where you're walking, get to the stage. And then they ask you questions, and then you forget your questions, or you remember. Like it is something else. But how were you able to like? How do you? Not how are you able? How do you like? Okay, when it's time for you to like get into that party mood, how do you condition your mind? And you're like, you know what? I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to win. Because you won. You, did you win the first one? Mm-hmm. You won the first one. You won the second one. So how do you usually like condition yourself to go out there, strut your strut? you know, smile your smile, answer your questions intelligently and imagine and like what what is the tell us the the pre before the being on stage before being on stage. <laughs> so basically before I go on like on any stage, my friends are always calling every time for picking here. You can do this. We're watching you, no problem. You can do it. So I have stage fright actually but not when I'm walking. I do my walks, they turn out well. But that part of judging when you're standing and you have to judge them the same try to start kicking in but you will notice this i'll just be the one feeling it or start feeling nauseous and all till the whole stuff is over so when you're walking when you're doing your thing you don't necessarily feel any until you know that there's, like final there's this basic confidence that comes with it especially if the song that is playing at that moment yeah, yeah, yeah. right exactly. so you so, just dive into the song and all what is your go-to thing when there's a part where they like showcase your talent what do you usually do Mm. She pays 10,000. Ah, you dance. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> you dance. What is it that you ah, do? I'm not really a good dancer though. So, what do you do? Okay, this last one I danced. Oh, okay. But it was more of a cultural dance. So, so you just. I, anything you feel like doing that time? Yeah. So, you, it's very spontaneous. You just we have something and then you do that. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. Yeah, that makes sense. So, it's only like when you have that final. When it's time for like the final judgments, that like, you feel a bit of you know, oh, feel nauseous, and you're like, oh, okay, ah, I might not win this, and I might win this, and all of that. So that's the only time you get that laugh right. You don't yeah. get it like beforehand. Right. You're just focusing on your back, your walks, and all of that. Yeah, yeah, strong. <laughs> yeah, I'm very strong. I just tend to make everything like fun. Try to look for the fun of it, even if you don't win it at that moment. But at least I enjoy it. Everything does not have to be serious in life. How do you deal with like other um what what do I call it other contestants before and after? And I like that we're having this conversation because even the small pageants that I did, there's this whole first of all when everybody's rehearsing, 
you're already seeing girls and if we're being completely honest you're already judging yourself yeah based off of those girls mm. this girl mm. she's taller than me that's the plus <laughs> i'm taller than this one that's the minus mm. this girl is more light skin oh look at this girl like i don't know but i did it like when i was when all of us i was like okay mm. nah i'm gonna beat this one hey see my ups here this is my greatest opponent oh, what does she know that i don't know so you're already judging all these girls like based off their physical appearance it's obviously you don't know them and the things they will do on that day but you're already like trying to score yourself and see okay ah, i'm better than this person I'm, I'm not better than this person in what, whatever way but how are you able to first of all before the pageant keep it cordial because i, I remember that time there's these people that won't tell them not because now this guy is on my head like that but these people day and night they are practicing and everything like hi and they're like giving you side eye like okay and I, 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 this thing is not that deep but it's NYSEO not be saying I'm this world though <laughs> so you know and then they are trying to carry the thing on their head and all of that and even when you try to you know talk to them they are giving you attitude and even after because when I won there are some people that are like hey congrats hey I want this one so and so and then there are other people that are like hmm like like that yeah, I know your daddy before you know but like how are you able to maintain that or how do you like keep a cordial relationship before um, the pageants? Because I guess there are usually group practices, right? No, I didn't involve in any group practice. Because, yeah. okay, um, during the pageant and all, we're having exams that period. So, any practice we did, it's just like after exam, I'll come back and have the practice with them. So, I mean, things. I won't say a friendship relationship, more like acquaintance, you know. You have to get along for that period. Yeah. So at least you just get along with everyone. Then after the pageants, I'm not this person that tends to keep relationships after the whole stuff has been completed. Basically, if you want to talk to me, don't worry, we'll talk. No problem, we'll vibe. But you coming to me and you're like, giving me this type of vibe, like, what is this? You should not have won. I'm not supposed to win. Because, yeah, it happened though. I'm not supposed to win. And oh, so I'll just look at you like, I was just basically ignoring you. Yeah, where did you talk to me? And you talking to me. Even if you try to do all this sweetness and all the best. So, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, you, can see, you, can see, you can see through the fake too. I see through every fake person. Uh-huh. But what, like, you don't even try to at least, you know, just smile back or be fake I back. Smile. I have a lot of fake smiles. <laughs> You're a you, model now, you're a pageant queen, so you should, you're supposed to have fake smiles too. And yeah, I give that a lot. So basically, people don't know when I give fake smiles or real smiles. They'll be giving you So now, what you're saying basically is that you know how to just manage the whole like, yeah. situation from contestants and all of that. How do you manage um, um, tra- training? Like trainers, the your, your, what do they call them? Your coaches. How do you manage like expectations from them? Because some of them can bring the whole expectation. Maybe they wanted to be beauty queens in their life, in their past life, and then they want to live through you. You just want to be able to learn and enjoy your process and enjoy your journey. And then they are like, you must be the queen, you know, or you must be the queen, or you must do it like this, do it like this. Not even letting you be cycling your own creativity, just bringing whatever it is that they feel like they can do. So how do you navigate coaches like that? I had a very good relationship with my coaches, though, because... I see my coaches as normal teachers in school. Yeah. You have to look up to them. Surely they have more experience more than you do. So if you go there and you want to start doing, I know this, I know this. So you're like, what do you know? They're basically just entering here. So you just look up to them, learn from them. And learning from them taught me a lot. Coming down, humble yourself, listen to them. It's really got me far. Mm-hmm. Obviously because they have more experience and yeah. you know they are but how do you still ensure that your own creativity still shows? Like, um, I say this because you could feel like, oh, I want to do this somehow. This is me. Like, I want to be original. Are you saying that because they have more experience, you should just allow them to do no. their thing? No, not that. During training, <laughs> I gave um, um, such a for her because... This is him telling me to do this. And my mind is telling me, no, to do this, like, do this stone like this. So when you combine what he's telling you to do and what you want True, to do, yeah. you combine it together, it's actually done out great. Really good result. I, I agree with you. We'll go on a very quick break. When we return, we'll still be seated with the Miss Culture and Tourism in the States. And we'll be having a conversation on 
how that particular journey was for her. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. back to Nka. My name is Favor Obinyan and we've been having this conversation. I'm doing the show with the very beautiful beauty queen herself. She has been crowned uh, Miss Culture and Tourism in Ugu State, CCP. <laughs> <laughs> Chima, Prudential, Chi, so. And before we just go into um, continue the conversation, we're going to take a look at some of our pictures from over the years, see how photogenic or, you know, non-photogenic that she has been yeah, you be too queen, so I'm hoping that we see we'll, oh, we we'll see our fire pictures. Mm. Be anxious for nothing. All right, let's take a look at the pictures. Hi. Let's see this song that's been. Oh, this is really pretty. What was this? Um, that was February. Oh, this is fire. Fire. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, did you go out? Have you No, I met out with my friend. No, no, that uh, kind of single date. Oh. I have to say God will, but not me and people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this picture is so nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. this was like 2020. What in the zooming is this? I don't know. Like, what kind of. <laughs> Who did this picture? <laughs> please. What is Who this? Who gave you guys this picture, please? These are many more are the questions that are. Where is this picture ah. coming from? <laughs> oh. Where is this picture? You look really young here. That was 2020. 2020. Yeah. Ah, what's going on here? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, this picture I was actually trying to you know give this tease. Oh, is this your definition of tease? No, that time now. That time. Oh, that okay. time. <laughs> that person Sunday. That time. Oh wait, to Oh, a cutie pie. Mm. <laughs> All the pictures are cute. I don't think you have bad pictures uh, apart from the selfie ones. Oh, this one is nice. Where is this one? Um. In the yard. Oh, I think what's going to in the yard? It's not supposed to be, you know, in the yard clothes. Yeah, look, you're looking all dinner, like it's not dinner. Like you're waiting for like a date or something like that. Just oh, I don't really wear actual gowns at all. So basically, my clothes are to give this date vibe, but also. So what do you mean that like, you don't really reaction? What, what do you... I don't find them. Oh no, God, this one now is what now? Ah, that was a see. dinner gown. Now. That's a dinner gown. Yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 but you said that gown that has rope and tie tie. I'm going to give rope. I'm going to tie my life. <laughs> Wahala. <laughs> oh my God. I even like that, you know, that, that conversation, the whole shower gowns and whatnot. And... What would you say makes a dress decent? Mm. What makes a dress decent is basically the person wearing it. Mm. I can wear a short gown and be like, oh, I love this gown. I love the way it looks on you. But another person will wear the same short gown and come out looking like what I don't know. Why would you wear a short gown? And you see some people that their front are they're touching their face like, why am I seeing it here, please? Mm. What is happening? And they will come out the type of vibe they give. So you think it's like the personality, it's more like the person wearing the dress, that makes it clothes indecent. But now you're saying that so yeah, that means that people that wear, I don't know that that, that tells you a different word. And um, one thing about a shower gown is that let's do the different word. Okay, yeah. one thing about those gowns uh -huh. is that the gown is casted. It's like mass produced. There's no like uniqueness with it. Like yeah, you can enter a party and you see ten people. Wearing those gowns, like, so wait, I'll enter market, you know, I'll go out, I'll carry my money, my money, yeah. I'll not go and buy that gum. Only for me to enter a place and put the same people are wearing it. Wearing gum. No, I don't like things like that. Basically, once I wear something, I expect no one else at that place to be wearing that particular thing. Because, mm. why would we be sharing clothes? Are we twins? Which type of training is that? Scared. So now, for you, it's about, first of all, why, one of the reasons why you don't like those gowns is that they're mass-produced. Yeah. You get to see a lot of people wear it, so it's like, there's no uniqueness. Like, it's like, as if they are doing Twins Festival. I so everybody's see. dressed like this in different ways. Like, yeah. So, and that's like one of the reasons. Another reason is, you think it's the personality that makes a gown in the sense. Mm -hmm. So, if this girl, but 
they always say that you know how like it's just the way you want to be addressed one and they always say these things like people first see there's no social inability like people first see you and so it's how they see you that you'll be like oh this is what this person is so that whole dressing or like it being the person's personality doesn't really work for all people looking at ariana you know ariana wears short dresses Ariana, like Ariana Grande, yes. Okay, she wears short dresses. But when you see her on those dresses, you're like, wow, this dress is beautiful. I want it. But if you see another person on the dress, like, what is this person wearing? Please? Do you think it's also because of the body type? Body type affects it, too. Yeah. Because me and you can wear the exact same dress, but one of us is going to look a whole lot different. Yeah. So I think that when it comes to, like, those gowns or what is decent i feel like body type is a really, really body good type thing. is another thing that affects it. but basically why would you be wearing a gown you know you have big stomach your stomach is big your shape is irregular that kind of p-shape and you sit down wear body con what are we saying what are we supposed to be attracted to? to body positivity this <laughs> you get say irregular no <laughs> no like i mean normal this is me knowing that i'm not sick when i see gowns that see people wear i want to carry my body carry myself yeah. i'm not gonna wear it what am i doing with the gown please no, okay it's not showcasing anything there is no vibe in it no stitches at all it's not drip it's just like maternity wear mm. so it's just like another person but you know you have big stomach you're not gonna wear body corn what are we supposed to see so basically people should dress according to their body type yes i completely agree with you like not that if you want to wear a body con, it's your daddy business. You want to wear and people should not but dress it according to your body type. People that now want to wear body con, you're not gonna kill yourself with corsets. Ah. <laughs> oh, you don't like corsets? No, corset is not bad actually. It's really nice. Ah, the time I decided to wear corsets, God, I could not be it. Ah. Beauty is pain, my dear. You, <laughs> that you should know that beauty is pain. I could not breathe though. How can it? You know what this is? That you know, do like a pregnant kiss small, small. Do <laughs> be pretty hard <laughs> if there was one fashion trend that you definitely do not want to see again what would it be mm-hmm. one fashion trend i don't want to see again what is your boy's dressing what to call out oh you approach me what is on your hair you wear head on my inside heat <laughs> why you wear head on my inside heat <laughs> when i wear red head woman i'm looking at your leg timberland is expensive though. yeah there's a vibe in it if you very it appropriately. Yeah. So you wear head woman. You now wear Timberland. You now wear trousers that is sweeping the floor. It's not as if the trousers even fits you. The trousers is not looking like rag. Because I thought I would call it rag. You now wear top. The top. Okay. Well, I want to wear polo. The polo will not be looking one kind, one kind. So I like, oh, I saw this bike man. Yes, this bike man was wearing this particular polo. You know what I mean? So, that kind of off color vibe and all. No, oh, please, they should buy your old boys from dressing. At least, maybe you don't do your old. Should you have money? You can't look for somebody that will be dressing you. I think they are like, like a staple uniform for those kind of guys. Like, you have to do like that. And wear unnecessary designer. It's very, designer, like, it's very yeah. crass. Okay, if you are wearing a designer brand, for people to know that this is actually expensive. Jackets are actually expensive. It's not like it's not expensive. Jackets are expensive. What you said, don't be buying it. It's just like somebody. You go to the market, you can't buy your cricka. But when you iron the clothes, you wash yourself, pay pay. The clothes you can see when you enter the ticket and buy the clothes. So that kind of thing. Those people will not go out. You wear expensive clothes. Yes, people know that it's expensive. But please dress well. Let us know that clothes is actually expensive. Know that you'll be wearing different types. You wear Balenciaga. You now wear Gucci on top. Your leg, you now wear Timberland on top of your head. We are seeing another design. What is that? This is called drip. It's drip. <laughs> Dripping away from that, <laughs> let um let's talk about. I think it's something in a lot of sectors basically, but we hear that it's um, it's a lot more in you know entertainment pageantry, and it's this having to um give favors or having to maybe you want to get a particular thing, you want to get to a a a, a higher step or get something, and then you have to give a sexual favor in return. I know that that's something that's really really rampant. How um have you experienced it in any way? Mm. As a person, eh? if I if I'm doing something and that thing is requiring me to stress myself and it's something that I know that if I do it last half, I'll still regret it. Because one thing about those stuff is that once you start, yeah, you cannot stop it because they'll be like, Shouldn't you've done it before. 
Mm -hmm. Why is not there you doing it again? Yeah. So I need to do pass myself. Because I'll tell you, if this does not work out for me, please I'm a student. I have another thing that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's not like um I will not still try to look for other ways to go about it. But if that is the final decision, you are not the only one doing pageants or you're not the only industry in yeah. town. So I can still go to another place, try my luck and all. I don't need to pass myself, please. Okay. So anytime you're like if you ever anytime you're faced with this, you're just like, you know what? About turn. Claire. <laughs> Claire, my dear. And what was your advice? How do you handle before I even ask what your advice, how do you handle male attention? Mm. Are you in a relationship? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not single, please. Okay. But how do you handle like male attention? Oh uh, I get that a lot. But if the guy approaches you, you don't need to start giving this attention this by like why are you please? That is very unmanner. That, that is very stupid. So you just give them this cool vibe, okay, we'll talk and all, but you want to know that thing. Cannot work on. Cool. Yeah. Cannot work. Because I have this mentality that <clears throat> basically me seeing myself getting married is like seven or eight years. And I have the mentality that I need to be established. Like I need to have my own stand. Because basically, guys, the type of mentality that this is is we can handbag. Okay. She be I'm the one paying for a wig and handbag. She cannot do anything. Because I have a friend that was beaten up recently. In a relationship, why? Because he's paying for a wig and handbag. What is yeah. that? So I give boys this type of um vibe. You know, I don't need you to do for anything in my life. I already have a man that is gentle. That's my father. And he's <laughs> doing it without complaint. If I build you, I build my dad, you will cry. <laughs> No, actual fact. If I view someone, if I view my dad, you run away now. First thing, you run away. So I give an advice that if you are with me, please know that yes, you are in for a relationship. That kind of thing. Not that you are there. You are telling me she is because I'm buying you this. I'm buying you that. You're not going to giving this video. Please shout at me, please. So I'm yeah, trying to say that your love don't cost a dime. Yeah, but not say she's not spending. Please call me. I'm a baby girl. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I agree with all that you have said. I'm saying this because of the camera. I don't agree with all you have said because there's something I'm like. But then you're in a relationship now. Yeah. Hey. I see yourself getting married in seven to eight years. Yes. Wow. Okay. I was I was stammering. Not that. Why would I be getting married now? Like no, I don't need that right now. CCP. We go on a very quick break. <laughs> when we return, we get to play our final segment, which is the game segment. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're welcome back to the program. You're still watching Unka on Afia TV, and of course, I'm still here with the very beautiful beauty queen herself, Chima Prudential Chisum. And now it's time for us to play our game segment. So now you either <laughs> see so if it's squeezing your face, but you're not going to stop us from doing anything, you know. Now I just want to keep um, put out a little disclaimer. This segment is all fun and games. No shade, no tea to any parties involved. It's all fun and games. It's all love. Yeah, if you're a sensitive person, you are discretion is advised. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so now you're going to be waiting from best to worst. You either do that or you take a gulp of this. Okay. I saw the way you were scrutinizing it, so you have to choose where wisely. So now right from best to worst, these ex top models. Okay. Anabana, Adeze Igwe Iobo, Munachi Abi, Agbani Darego. Anabana, Adeze Igwe Iobo, Munachi Abi, and Agbani Darego. It's okay. Anabana. These are days the Iweyobo, that's Munachi Abi, and the this is um Agbani Darigo. Read from best to worst. Mm, from best to worst. Agbani Darigo should be the best. Okay. Because after her, all, um, all the international pageants I've been seeing, Nigeria just comes out as part of top 20, of top 50. And she's literally the one that set the standard. Yeah. Um, 
Mm. So Agbani Darego is the best. And Abana Adeze Igwe and Munachi Abi. Adeze Igwe should be the next. Okay, then Munachi Abi, she's not a replacement model. Okay, then Anabana. Anabana is yes. the last one. This is Omaka. Let's not let's not do too much. Or should I do too much? Should I do too much? Straight from best to worst, this artist. Silver Oma, <coughs> Zani, Ife, Paragon, Gochi. Very good. Repeat. from best to worst, this artist. Silver Oma, Zani, Ife, Paragon, and Gochi. Mm. Okay, Gucci. Gucci's song has a vibe and like you need to dance, please. Then if he if he has his voice that you be sitting down and you hear someone singing, who is that singing? I need to turn. So uh, I had a really hard one. Whether if he or Gucci. It's in home. Mm. I'll go with Gucci. So Gucci, then if he anything. Then Paragon, Silva Oma, and Zani. Silva Oma should be generic. Okay. Then Paragon before Zani. Before Zani. All right, no problem. Now let's play some rapid fire questions. Um, best place to live in the East, Enugu or Oweri? Enugu. Oweri is, yeah. Last time I went to Oweri, I didn't enjoy my stay. Be that Oweri people protest. Egusi or Onugo? Onugo. Abacha Pizza. Pizza. I would have chosen Abacha, but since I came to Inigo, I've not enjoyed any Abacha here. You've not? I haven't. Ah. Okay. Suit or traditional? Mm. That, that means that like corporate or casual? Yeah. Corporate. Clubbing or sleeping? Sleeping. Calls or texts? Texts. Older or younger men? Older. Light skin or dark skin men? Light um light or dark. Dark. Loyalty or respect. <sighs> respect. Alright, chicken or goat meat? Goat meat. Chicken or turkey? Chicken. I'm judging you. I go see your new girl. I go see your sorry. Agwana. Fufu Amala. Amala. Moi moi akara. Akara. Puff puff or buns? Buns. Fried rice or tuna fries? Fried. Asun or unkobi? Mm. Unkobi. Okay. So now, on a final note, I know you're going for Miss Stories in Nigeria. Is that what you're going for? Okay, so um, what are some of the things that um, we should expect from you in like the coming <clears throat> in the coming months, in the coming years? So, Missouri in Nigeria, are you already registered? I don't know the intricacies yeah. of it. So, when is it going to be happening? It's be happening in June, but the voting has started. Oh, the voting has already started. So, how do people vote for you? Mm, a link, okay. the voting link. So, just through only through the voting link. Yeah. Okay, so we should go to your so vote presidential chief. So the voting link is up already, so you can vote for her. So it's through this vote that you get to actually walk the runway for the stories in. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're well, wishing you all the best, and of course, it will also be on your social media handle. Yeah, you too. So, what's your social media handle? Underscore prudential underscore chima. Okay, underscore prudential underscore chima. So, if you didn't catch that, you can definitely go to our social media handle to you know. Look at it as well. One final question: What, um, what supermodel do you aspire to be like? Naomi Campbell. Oh. Okay. No wahala. All right. Thank you very, very, very much. I wish you the very best, and I can't wait to you know see you wear the crown for Miss Stories in Nigeria later in June. You must say thank you. Well, don't know whether I'm a prophet. You must say thank, thank you. you. <laughs> it's out a uh, respect to my powers. I have a bit of shaker. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't touch it too. You need to need a bit of shaker or maybe well I'll, I'll I'll hook you up, don't worry. Of course, thank you so much to all our viewers for watching Unka this very beautiful Tuesday. Remember that Unka airs every weekday, every weeknight rather.
weeknights, weekdays, same thing. So every weekday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. only on Akia TV, DSTV254, and go to the 17. Of course, there are snippets that we share on our social media pages. So at Akia TV Official, you can catch the full videos um, on our YouTube. So yeah, stay tuned to Akia TV Official. My name is Favor Ogni Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you.